check. Okay. Next, just you can fold your uh, knees so that your heels should touch your hips. Okay. Fold it. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should touch nine and ten. Okay. Now, just hold it. Uh, means your knee should bend and it should look towards down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Next half chair pose. Check your alignment. Little bit spread your legs. Hands parallel. Just sit down and come up. Imagine there is a chair. You are sitting and come up. Okay. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Now you can spread your legs. Hands parallel. We'll do triangle pose. No pause in between. You can just one, two, three. So this is the warm up. Opposite sides, you are touching your hands and legs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, in the same position, right leg towards right side, left left leg center. You are on hands on your waist. Go down and touch other side. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Next, we'll do cardio. Simple uh, so, uh, jumping jack, slow, and after that, we'll do fast. Okay, let's start with the simple, uh, slow counts. Start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay. Do inhale and exhale properly. Prepare your body for fast jumping jacks. Okay, we'll start with the fast jumping jacks. One drum, one count. Start one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So by doing cardio, so top of the head to the tip of the toe, so all the organs will get activated. Okay. Relax. Slowly we'll start with the standing exercises now. Very simple exercises. 
Even beginners can also do this. We'll start with the Kati Chakrasana. So today we'll do a few other exercises for our digestive system to improve digestive system. Okay. Little bit spread your legs, hands parallel. We'll do first warm up, after that, we'll hold the posture. So, I will show first warm up. So, you are just only twisting your upper body parts, no movements of your legs. Okay, hands parallel, just you are moving your upper body part, and again come center, and again turn. This is the warm up and posture will be your left hand should come from the back side and you can hold your waist and hands you can touch your shoulder and you need to twist your uh, upper body part and look back side. So this will be the posture. Only your movement will be on upper side. No movement of legs any. So we'll do from both the side. We'll start first warm ups, hands parallel, 10 10 counts. We'll do just uh, twist one, center, two, center, three, center, four, center, five, center. Six, center, seven, twist, twist. Then only you get a, a good um, benefit for your stomach. Eight, nine, center, ten, center. Okay. Now we hold the posture. Ten side, one, one side. And then say other side. Okay. Hands parallel. Take your right hand uh, on your shoulder. Left hand first on your vest, other side. And uh, right hand on your shoulder. Turn, turn, and look back. Be there for 10 counts. Twist. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come center and relax. So if you do twisting means it like a, you are rinsing your bad fat or inactive organs near, near your uh, tummy area. So you need to twist. We'll do other side, hands parallel. Take your right hand first on your vest, left hand on your shoulders, twist, twist, back side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then slowly come center and relax. Speaker. Speaker. Okay, next one. Pada Angustasana. So here. So both the feet together uh, and bend back and while bending you need to take your right hand to the left toes you are touching and the other hand means left leg left hand left hand should be upper side in the chin mudra like and you should look up you are holding opposite a uh, leg with the opposite hand and whichever you are holding leg on that hand will be up in a chin mudra. So look up. You need to balance it 
both the feet together and you are holding opposite leg of toes. And you need to balance and look up, upside. So this will be the posture. So for that, we'll do warm-up, simple warm-ups. Like inhale and exhale. You are touching your toes. Inhale and exhale. No bend off your knees. You need to touch. If you are not able to just try, try. Don't bend your knees. Should be straight. Try to touch or hold toes. This will be the warm up. So we will start. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We hold the posture now. So inhale, bend back. And exhaling, bend, bend, right hand, left leg, other left hand, the chin mudra. So first two finger you are touching. So opposite, uh, look up and try to look your fingers. You need to, upper body part is twisting and you need to balance it. Be there for 10 counts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come center. We change the uh, hands. Left hand, right leg, right hand, chin mudra. Look up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then slowly come center and come up. So next one will be which will spread your legs. The right leg, right side. Bending knees. Okay. Left leg center. So again, we'll do the warm up and uh, posture will show. You are uh, just your right leg, you are bending and you can just. Um, touching the ground. So again, uh, hands parallel, but, uh, touching the ground. Come up, hands parallel, touching the ground. So this will be the warm up. The posture will be in the same position, you are bending right leg 90 degree, other leg straight in a Namaskara Mudra. Left hand, back side, and a right hand with the Namaskara Mudra, you are looking back. Here also you are twisting your upper body and looking back in Namaskara Mudra. You need to be there for 10, 10 counts. Okay, we'll start with the warm ups first. Spread your legs, hands parallel, go down and try to touch. Come up, center, two, three, center. Four, center, five, center, six, center, seven, center, eight, center, nine, center, ten, center. Okay, before the posture now. 
So bend your right knee 90 degree, other leg straight, left hand on your right thumb, and right hand upper side uh, namaskar. So be here for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come center and relax. We'll do it the other side. Spread your both the legs again. Left leg, left side, right leg center. Start with the warm ups. Center, and to touch. Center, two. Center, three. Center, four. Center, five, six, and center, seven, center, eight, center, nine, center, ten, center. Okay, we hold the posture now. So in warm up, we try to touch, means hold the posture. Left leg 90 degree, other leg straight. Right hand on your left thigh. So left hand over, means mudra. 10 counts. One, two, three, look up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then slowly come center and relax. So now you can sit down. We will do a few of asana, sitting asana. Again, we'll start with a few warm-ups. So you can sit down in Kajrasana. So here also now, from back side, no movement of eyes. We just uh, not sideways. We need to go back and try to touch. Come up. Again, back side. Come up. So this will be the warm-up. We start 10 counts. One, two, three, four. Not sideways, you need to go back and try to touch. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Okay. Now we do butterfly. Just take your both of legs, uh, feet together. Hold it with the hands. Both the thighs parallel. You need to touch to the ground. If you are not able to with the support of hand, you can just touch. Okay. You need to flap your thighs. Start. Back should be straight. Just flat your thighs. So this is also very good for digestion. Flat, flat. Good for, very good for ladies. And uh, it will open your um, um, means, uh, inactive um, organs in your uh, means a small, small part. Uh, Thigh area, so bit of the um, area. Sometimes we are not able to, by doing some specific uh, uh, asanas only, we need to activate. So this is also one thing. Just flat back. 
So 50 to 100, you can practice any time. Two to three times, you need to do compulsory at least uh, for ladies. This clap clap. I have count in my mind. This clap clap clap. Support of your hand or screen, you can just press, press towards. Uh, if you are not able to hold, then just press, press. Okay. Good. Here also, we can do one more variation. So, in the same position, your feet near to your body and hands opposite thighs, you are touching back side and just you are twisting. So, on the upper body. No moment of thighs. Go back one, two, three, four, five, six, twist, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We did for ten counts there only. We need to. No uh, lifting of your thighs only. You need to bend, uh, means uh, twist your upper body part and look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then slowly come center and other side. Hold it. Down. Uh, other uh, thighs, look back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly relax. Now we'll do Malasana. So just come on on your feet. Your hips should be up. You are not um, sitting a little bit apart, both the feet. So in Namaskara Mudra, you are just pushing your thighs with the support of elbow outside. So you are sitting, means you are not sitting on ground, it should be up. So in Advanced position, you can just come up on your toes. So this one also good. If you are not able to, just with the support of feet and back should be straight. Okay, you can do this one or you can do this one also. So just be there for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five. It's even open for even hip joints, hip muscles. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly drop it. So if you want, you can take a bit relax. Next one, in the same position, you do one more variation. So you're sitting like this. Uh, your left hand, you need to take it from inside, right hand from the outside. You are just holding. You are just holding and you are looking back. Okay. Left hand inside, right hand from the outside. You are looking back. This side back. Okay. Be there for 10 counts again. You don't sit on mat. It should, it should, it should be up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly from center and relax. We'll do with the other side. Left hand, I'm sorry, right hand inside, right a uh, left hand from outside. You are holding both the uh, hands and looking back. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly come center and relax. Okay, hope you are able to do. Next one we do Mandukasana. So it is very good for digestion and for diabetic people also. So here also we do two variations. So come to Vajrasana. So Adi Mudra. Hold your thumb and the rest of finger just keep it and near your um, navel. So you need to uh, in Adi Mudra fold. So near your navel, just press, press. While inhaling, I will show all uh, two variations. While inhaling, just press, means you need to press, press, and bend, bend, bend. Look, friend. Uh, normal breathing. Okay, this will be the one posture. And second one will be the, so first left hand on your navel, um, belly button, right hand and above that, you need to press it, press, press, go down and look front. You need to feel the, um, the muscles or uh, that uh, uh, area that, you need to feel that, uh, but, uh, okay. <laughs> so we'll start with the yes, first sir. one. Uh, thumb inside Adi Mudra, near your navel. Just press, press, and go down. Look front. Normal breathing for 10 counts. Pancreas will activate. Liver will get, I mean, uh, function will be normal if you do like this. Start for 10 counts. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The pulses you, you will feel here, the moving pulses you can currently you are holding that position, so you will feel that pulses. Okay. Second variation you do first. Left hand on your belly button, right hand above that, press, press, and go down, down, and be there for 10 counts. Now you can easily feel that. Okay. Press, press, and look front. Normal breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So now we can lie down on your back. So not the best position for the uh, lower digestion. One more person. <clears throat> Left hand, you need to press, press towards your thigh or tummy. So other leg should be straight. Warm up. This will be the warm up. One, two. You are pressing towards your tummy. So this will be the warm up. Posture will be rehold for 10 counts. You need to press, press. Don't hold it. You need to press it. Okay. So we'll hold for 10 10 counts, both the sides, and we'll press and hold it for 10 counts with the support of both the uh, legs, hands. Okay. We'll do warm up first. One, two, three, press. Don't hold it, press. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We hold, hold it up, hold the poncho now. Just press it and we will for ten counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly drop it. Other side. Press it and hold. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly so drop it and hold the both the legs. One, two, press, press, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly drop it and relax. Okay. okay. Next one. Mm. Left hand, back side, in chin mudra. Right, right leg, opposite leg and hand, you are uh, lifting. So you need to um, take it 90 degree and uh, same um, left leg and left hand, 80 degree. And other side, it will be 90 degree. So this is the posture. So for that, on the simple, just hold it. One, lift. Two, it should come a straight line, no bending. Two, three. So this will be the posture. Uh, sorry, uh, warm up. Okay, we'll do a warm up first. Side one, two, make it as a 90 degree. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we hold the posture. Left hand with the uh, left leg, so go back on. 90 degree, and both the hand and leg means other side. Right, uh, uh, sorry, left hand and left leg, 30 degree. So this will be the 90 degree. So this will be the posture. So we wait for 10 counts. It should not bend your knees. So you need to feel the pressure on your tummy. So be there for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly. Drop it and hold it the other side. Left leg 90 degree, both other legs 30 degree. Left hand, hand. One, two, only 30 degree, not 16. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly drop it and 
Relax for a few breaths. Both the hands on your tummy. Relax for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Okay, slowly turn towards your right side. Hands up. Feel the linear awareness. And slowly come up. So we do Surya Namaskar. Then after that, the breathing exercise. Slowly come up. Come front of the mat. First one I will show, after that we will do it together. Namaskara Mudra. Om Sula. Hasta Uttana Asana. Madha Hasta Asana. You are trying to touch your nose to the knees. Right leg back. Ashwa Sanchala Asana. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll start with the Suryam star. And uh, you can come, I will show it once. Just come on in front of the mat. Namaskar. Hasta Uttanasana. Father Hastasana. Ashwasanchanasana, this leg you should be touching on the ground and the feet should be outside here. Ashwasanchanasana, Dandasana, it's a plank posture, it should not bend, if it should be in the plank posture here. Shashankasana, Ashtanga Namaskar, your eight parts of the body are touching the mat. Jandasana, only the lower part of your body is touching the mat and you are looking upside. Parvatasana, the both the feet touching the ground here, and you are trying to see the navel. Back to Shashankasana. Right leg forward, Ashwasanchanasana, Padahastasana, Hasta Uttanasana, Tumstana. Yeah. Okay, you can count one of the man, we will do it together. Om Surya Yanamaha Namaskar Hasta Uttanasana Pada Hastasana Try to touch forehead to the knees Ashra Sancharanasana Feel the pain in each of the asana Dandasana Don't move the hand here It should be the same for place Sashankasana, Ashtanga Namaskar, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, back to Sashankasana, right side forward, Ashwasanchalanasana, Pada Hastasana, Hastavuttanasana, Namaskar. Number two, second round window. Namaskar. Asta Uttanasana. Pada Astasana. Ashwasanchanasana. Dandasana. Sashankasana. Astanga Namaskar. Bhujangasana. Parvatasana. Back to Shashankasana. Right leg forward. Ashwasanchanasana. Pada Hastasana. Hasta Uttanasana. Namaskar. Number third. Namaskar. Hasta Uttanasana. 
पादहस्तासना अश्वसंचरणासना दंडासना दशांकासना अष्टांग नमस्कार पूजंगासना पर्वतासना दंडासन नमस्कार पादहस्तासन हस्तउत्तासन बी दे सेम पोस्टर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पाद हस्तासन वन टू दंडासन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव शशांकासन वन टू थ्री अष्टांग नमस्कार वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव भुजंगासन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पर्वतासन वन टू थ्री फोर अश्वसंचरणासन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पादहस्तासन वन टू थ्री अष्टोत्तासन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नमस्कार
today we'll do uh, sectional breathing that is uh, vibhagya pranayama so three variations in three parts uh, we are giving the energy or prana to our body and we are splitting into three parts so first one is the lower part and middle part and upper part so kanista madhyama jesta we can call it as so we we'll start with the first kanista pranayama okay so here near your navel so there is a some soft tissue so you need to press it inhale and exhale you have to do uh so below your uh, means near navel so soft tissue you are pressing inhale and exhale you are pressing pressing When doing exhaling, you are doing. So this will be the Kanista Pranayama. So in Madhyama Pranayama, so in your armpit, so both the hands only thumb is inside, both the fingers where you are touching, and elbow should be straight. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So this will be the Madhyama Pranayama. In Jesta Pranayama, so both the hands upside in Namaskara Mudra, and it should touch ear lobes. Hand should be straight. Inhale. When exhaling, you are in Namaskara Mudra, and touching the head. Exhale. Inhale. Just pull, pull up, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. So this will be the Jesta Pranayama. So we are giving the energy or prana, prana to our body in the three variations. Okay. So we will start with the Kanista Pranayama. So near your navel. Yes, I should be close. Don't open your eyes. We start with the Kanista. At least five to ten rounds. We can inhale and exhale. So now slowly come to Madhyama Pranayama. So thumb inside your armpit, both the fingers outside. Inhale and exhale. With just expansion here. So then we come up to the pranayama. Now we come to the jista pranayama. Namaskar mudra, upper side. We are stretching the leg. We are low stretching hands. Straight. Push, push up. So. Up. 
When exhaling, pull it. Inhaling, put the hand on the crown of your head. Exhale, exhale and pull. Pull as much as possible. Then come down. Last round. Let's see. Hands on your hands. I yeah, will uh, do the kapal bhati. So for kapal bhati, like we just we will hold in the prana mudra, that is uh, the index finger and the, your uh, thumb, that uh, the, the tip of those two uh, fingers are touching, and uh, the rest three fingers are straight. This is prana mudra. You can just open the eyes and see if you are not aware of that. It's a prana mudra. Just and you will be holding like keeping the hand on the on your thighs. Should not go outside your body. The whatever energy we have gained for the last one hour, so we should retain it. So it should not be grounded or it should not go outside the body. So that's the intention. So just keep on your thighs straight, keep straight. And while you will be exhaling forcibly, and when exhaling, you will be flattening the tongue. Just show it once. Yeah. We will exhale and what will be while exhaling will be tapping the tongue. So Kapal Bhati is, uh, uh, is Sanjeevini in a yoga sana. So the, it removes all the toxins from our body. Okay. You can close the eyes and forcibly exhale and, and flap the tongue when exhaling. You can do it uh, 15, 20 counts like that. If you are beginner, so 12 to 15 counts so you can exhale. And take a deep breath again and again and do the start to the practice once again. Take a deep breath. And exhale. If you have breath out, or stop the practice. Pranayama is all about very slow breathing and the minimal inhale and maximum exhale. Take a deep breath. And possibly exhale. One inhalation and vertical exhalation. So it will remove all the toxicity of your body. This pranayama. So slowly you need to increase 
from 50 to 100. Per day, at least two times you can practice. It has so many benefits. Make sure minimum two hours of break of the food and the kapal party. We are done with the second round. We can slowly stop the practice. Just observe your breathing. Be in the same mudra posture. Don't change the mudra posture. Keep it on your thighs. Ada Namaskara Mudra, closing prayer. Yogena Chitta Syapadena Pancha, Malam Sharira Syachabaitya Hena, Yoga Karotam Pravaram Munina, Patanjali Pranjali Nagatosmi, Om Shanti Shanti. So we get back to your time. Inhale, rise your head. While exhaling, bend forward. Try to touch your forehead to the ground. Offer your salutations to Mother Earth and all the gurus in the community which is providing these facilities. Slowly inhale and come up. Now, briskly rub your hands. Generate the energy. Keep it around your lungs. And slowly open your eyes. Thank you. Thank you.